A tweet that went viral has taken me to Meru. This week, we feature Jerry Mushina, the founder of Max Hub, whose compelling story of resilience and boldness will move you as it moved me. This is Founders Connect Africa. So thank you so much for this opportunity. We are really excited to be here. I'm really excited to be here. Yeah. Then what time did you guys leave Nairobi? At 4.40. Ah, wow. Okay, welcome to Meru. Yeah, thank you so much. Your tweet, you know, is the one that brought us here. Mm -hmm. When you explained how... Yes, um, yes. You, how, how all of this started. Yes, how all of this started. <laughs> did yes. you, first of all, expect that your tweet is going gonna, is gonna to turn like that? Not really. Yeah. I was actually doing it for guys who just lost jobs. Yeah. But I, I'm happy that... Uh, I got to impact a lot of people and they felt yeah. that actually they can do something. Yeah. You, you don't have to worry about uh, where you've been or who mm. you've been. Mm. Mm. Just you need to keep going. Keep going. Either way, yeah. Okay. yeah. So what I saw on your tweet is that um, you lost your job in 2018 yes. and had some pity party, you know, for yes. about six, seven months. And yes. I think most it's allowed. Most people have to have that. Yes, yes, yes. Um, what were you thinking during that time when you lost your job? Before even I, I lost my job, that is when I was telling people that when it rains it pours. I had a business which collapsed. It collapsed like yesterday and then tomorrow I don't have a job. <laughs> so I woke, wow. up, I woke up one morning and I'm like, everything what was is... The about? It was our incense spirits in, in, in Ruaka. Uh -huh. So you know in Kiambu how yes. things are yes. well, with alcohol and stuff. Huh? Yeah. So we used to have issues with the police all the time and then I, I just I just decided I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Yeah. So let me focus on this job now. I was I was moving because I had even started voiceovers at Kameme. So I, I was a sign language interpreter and I was I was also doing voiceovers. So I was thinking, hey, one day I'm even going to be a presenter and stuff. Yes. And then my bubble got busted like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> job, Hakuna, yeah, so yeah. you're home. I read the Bible from the beginning to the end because I was trying to figure out who am I, what, what, what yeah. is it that I need to do, I'm aware have I gone wrong, what have I done that, yeah. that, that is causing me to be in such a messy situation. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 So I, I read the Bible. I, I felt like God was talking to me but I don't know <laughs> if he was really talking to me. Yeah. And I spent like the seven months, uh, I was very good at self-destructing. I drank a lot. Mm. Uh, I, I got a bit depressed and uh, I, I just wondered what to do. There's no money. You can't even start a business or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I was just confused the whole yeah, time. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So this is where all the magic happens, especially when you're at home. Yes, yes. yes. When I am at home, I clean for people. I do duvets. I do towels for salons and barber shops. So we've just uh, sent the ones for today. So yes. every day I have towels, every day I have towels yes. that I do yeah. during the week. I rarely do duvets during the week. Mm -hmm. Only if I don't have a lot of work, I, I'm going to pick one or two. Okay. But I'm busy throughout the week. Mm -hmm. And then I have some other women who do home cleaning. We also do home cleaning. Okay. And we also do commercial uh, spaces. Okay. Yeah. You, you want to take us to? One yeah, I can take you to one of the the commercial, commercial spaces that we okay. yeah, right. that we clean. Right. Yeah. So yeah. So during that whole time, you were um, struggling with mm -hmm. the fact that you've lost your job, and it, it's it's a difficult time. Where were your friends, or what happened during that situation and family? When you're moving on to your next level things will not work out until you reach where you're supposed to be. Friends will go, some family will not even be there, people will not be able to help you, those people that you have been there for them before. Mm -hmm. So it was like that. And uh, it was very stressful. Uh, but uh, I, I, I also lost a lot of weight. Huh? But uh, yeah, I overcame. Okay. I, yeah, my, my, I have a friend who is here in Meru who I was telling about uh, what is happening, I would chat to her and I would tell her how I feel. I think one day she just got tired of, of me always feeling sorry for myself and then she was like, you know what, there's a job here, you come. So I came, I went for an interview, 
the guy had seen me on K24, he was so excited, so he gave me the job. <laughs> <laughs> what was the job about? It was an insurance job. Eh? Uh -huh. the, the, you have to sell so that you get money. It's, yes. it's a commission base. Oh, okay. So I went, so I, it was on a Thursday, I got the job, I was told to attend a training on Monday. So I went back home, I packed, I came, I, I took my Where kids to Limuru. Okay. I took my kids to my mom's, because that time the school was going on, eh? mm. and uh, I left them there. Uh, so when I came, I, I, I came for the training now on Monday. So I sat in the training and then there were some people who were expressing like what, uh, how the month has been, mm. what they have achieved. The highest had 10K that month. Hi, me, I sit and I was like, I did not come all this way for this, oh my God. <laughs> so where was your turnaround? How did you now start cleaning? Uh, I, I, I left that training, which was pretty unprofessional, but I, I was done. So I came, I came to a place called Makutano, mm. and uh, while, while I was in the vehicle coming, I was thinking, I, I had this idea in my head, I am going to go and start cleaning shops for 50 bob. And in my head I told myself, if I clean 10 shops, that is going to be 500 shillings per day and my life will be better. I went to the first shop, uh, that mama looked at me. I was in stilettos and a dress because I was in an <laughs> office. <laughs> so I told her, I'm looking for a job. Na, indio, sasa ni meona naiza, fanya. Hi, she was like a pana. She looked at me very suspiciously. And I am a sign language interpreter, so I can tell body language, I can tell what you're thinking, I yeah. can tell your you can facial tell expressions. Yes, so yeah. she was very suspicious. She was like, these ones are the ones who come and steal from people, and then we end up wondering what happened to us. Yes. So uh, she was like, no, me with your share. I left thinking, Kai Kwani, what is 50 bob? <laughs> yeah, and for 50 shillings, she can't give me a job, so I went to the next shop. She followed me. Yeah. When she followed me, she she was like she signaled to that person don't don't so i saw her then i got so uncomfortable i just left i didn't yeah. even explain to that person what what it is that uh, i want yeah. next was a cyber so i went to that cyber i i i, I saw uh she was like she's a very young girl i don't know if she's still there right now yes uh, so I, I i told her i am looking for a job and i'm willing to clean your shop even for 50 bucks uh, and you can tell other people as well. <coughs> so when I was talking to her, my daughter's school called. They tried to call the dad and he didn't speak, so they called me. So when they called, uh, they told me that they needed 500 bob for her graduation. Aki, me, I just broke down. I felt so bad. She saw me cry. Yeah. She gave me a mop and, uh, and a bucket yeah. and I mopped for her. So next uh, to her, yes. there's a shop that is there for animal feeds. Yes. So the guy kept on looking. He's wondering, this one has removed shoes. Now she's cleaning what is happening. What is he kept on? peeping and then going back. He got uncomfortable until he decided, let me just go. Yeah. He came <laughs> and asked me, Madam, Nini Mbaya. So I explained, you know, I had a job. I don't have a job anymore. And uh, I, I need to clean. If you, can you, can I clean your shop? And he was like, no, unajua, mimi yangu nauza chakula ya ngombe, na I see as itaka ipate maji, siyo shangi muu fagia tu, lakini muu jifagilia. That kuja stores that is there. But he told me he can't, because uh, he just sweeps. And, but he told me, give me your number, I'm going to call people. I, I'm going to tell people about you, and then you'll get job. Oh, sijali, ah, kazi ni mingi. Oh, yeah, I went home feeling so nice. Yes. The next day was, at, was 10th. I will never forget that day. It was 10th of October. Yes. Kim called me. I hadn't even saved his number. Yes. So he called me. He's like, eh, ni ule Kimadi? Tuliongea jana. Kuna watu wanataka kukuona. Hey, so me, I, I came. I went. I, I found some women there. Some, some have shops there. And uh, so they were like, so they, they, they were standing in like a group and then they were looking at me like, but this time I didn't have stilettos. <laughs> I was in rubbers. I, yes. I was dressed for the job. Yes. So one came. And then she told me her name is Ruth. Nimesikia, uh, kuna graduate, anaosha. Tulikuwa tunataka kupea kazi. So I was like, okay. Unaosha na pesa ngapi, zi okibane. Okay, ni miya moja. I think he felt 50 bob sure. He yeah. can't be charging 50 bob. <laughs> so they gave me a job. Uh -huh. Four shops. And I cleaned 400 bob. Yeah. I got 400 bob. 
So when I was going to tell now Ruth, thank you, and you can call me tomorrow, yeah. she was like, do you clean uh, houses? I was like, yes, I do. But you weren't even cleaning. This I, is, just this is the first, first thing. thing. <laughs> this is how you go and say the way you have experience. And <laughs> so, yeah, uh-huh. but I, I am a very good cleaner. I, yes. I, 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 I had tried it before. Yeah. So, yeah. so I, 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 I accepted. She took me, she put me on a motorbike. She took me to her house mm-hmm. here in Gilead Trapo. Uh, she took me on a motorbike, mm-hmm. took me to her house, uh, told me to do laundry, clean the house, and in within three hours that house had changed. Eh? It was shiny. Yeah. She was so impressed. So she was like, "Me at a si juu ntakupatia pesa ngapi?" Una juu tuna peanga wa mama three hundred. Yes. So she gave me she chomoa the thousand five hundred. How can I forget tenth of October, surely twenty eighteen? <laughs> Your second day at, at work, you almost Na, I went home with 1900. So I was, I was really happy. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so the journey started now from the there. started there. She told somebody who told somebody who yeah. told somebody who told somebody. And uh, within like a month, I was booked uh, back to back. Yeah. So I can't even be able to finish work. Wow. So I, I got another chick to be doing it with me. I taught her standards. And yeah. Okay, interesting. Let's yeah. let's get in and see what you do. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So this is one of the from the word of mouth. Yes, <laughs> this is one of the properties that we clean. Yeah, um, we to center. There's this landscaping around there, here, mm. and beyond there. So mostly is what we do here. Yeah. yeah. Hello, <laughs> Sasa, Papi, Mom. Mm-hmm. Uh, we man these washrooms. So there's somebody here the whole time, yeah. and uh, the parking area, and uh, so this is one of the girls that we work with. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, <I> can wave. <laughs> yeah. Here, it's uh, the lady who's always here the whole time, mm-hmm. and then another one who comes on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays and then just for the general cleaning mm-hmm. and then there's the landscaping the the, the outside area mm-hmm. that one we get a gentleman who comes like once a month okay. and does the landscaping and, and digging and everything and then behind here mm-hmm. so basically here yeah. yeah, so now um you have a couple of jobs i've seen um more than 12 houses that you're cleaning more than three uh, premises they are cleaning. What's your growth plan for you? Um, you're currently in Meru. Are you looking at maybe going to other counties? What are you thinking about? Sure, sure. Uh, I want, first of all, to create a name here. Um, I want people to know who Max Hub is, what Max Hub is, what are we doing? We, 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 we clean homes, we, we clean public places. But we also, you know, we are changing lives. Eh? We are giving women opportunities uh, to, to have a job and also earn a decent amount while at it. So I want, first of all, to be known here and then we, maybe we can move out of the county. Yeah. Okay. What would be your, your advice to people? Especially, we have seen over 700,000 people lose their jobs mm-hmm. during mm-hmm. COVID 19. Yeah. Um, I think right now it's probably a million. And they've lost all hope and they're maybe in that position you were where they're just lost i think uh the, the most important thing I, I i keep on telling people the, the pity party is going to happen i mean you've lost something of course you're going to go through that process of uh <coughs> mourning and of course you've lost something so you're going to be in denial and then you're going to start feeling sorry for yourself and that can go as long as you want right like when i shared that story Somebody told me that he's been in a pity party for 19 years. For the last, uh, he said what you're calling a pity party have been in it for 19 years. So it can go as long as you want or as short as you want. And I, 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 I like telling people that you must be good at something. One, there's something that you must be good at. Just can you try to focus on that and try to move away from the depression, from the stress. Like for me, what does it for me is cleaning. And from that, that is where my breakthrough came. And uh, the other week I was in the papers and, 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 and my sister called me and she told me, my mom saw what kind of job that I do. My mom did not see the achievements and, 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 and everything <laughs> and the growth. And the growth. Yeah. My mom asked, 
Jerry, ahura ga guo. Ahura gera do guo mero. You know, she does not care about it. She, she cleans a company. She, yes. she has a company. She cleans a hospital or whatever, whatever. So, you, you, the, the people around you, they see a certain you because you had a job. Mm. But once you start now, maybe making those chapos or making those mandazis, don't expect to have support. Your mother or your father will not understand. Will not understand that that, that this is what is paying your bills. This is what is making you not call them to ask for money. Yeah. You know. But what I would tell you, just don't think about other people. Of course, I had to. Me, I got the confidence to do this because most people around here do, do not know me. Of course, I wouldn't do this in Limuru. My mom would <laughs> die. <laughs> But the, the, I, I think maybe you can just try to do something. Don't just stay because if you decide to feel sorry for yourself, the, the life does not even care. It goes on and it really, you, it's going to beat you up mm. as, as much as you want it to. But if you decide to stand up to it, you can be whatever you want to be. Yeah. Um, lastly, what um, I've been trying to look at is demystify the fact that even if you have you're a graduate, you can do anything. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? I think our generation of parents, they, they believe that you have to work in an office. It doesn't matter how much money you're making, probably you're making 6,000, but hi, Jerry Wakwa, Akoka Office, you know, she's on TV, you've had her on radio, but probably you're not even happy or whatever you're earning. Somebody else in the Juwakali is making more money than than you who's in there. So I think parents need to understand, it is okay you took us to school and it is the best thing that you did because out here I am able to interact with people, I am able to figure out things much easy than you, for somebody maybe who never went to school. There's a really big difference and, and going to school really helps a lot. You, even your interpersonal relationships with the people that you employ, your, your money making decisions and stuff like that. So when, when, when you see your child decide that, uh, okay, I am an engineer, but I am going to do cleaning, or I will set up a company to takua to kiweke or to tiles or whatever, just support your child to be independent so they don't have to come to you again asking you to support mm. their life, their lifestyle, or maybe paying rent or whatever. If you see somebody, an ajituma, somebody is just going out there to do whatever they can just to pay their bills, to earn a living, support them as much as possible. Thank you so much. Welcome.